Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your general reading for September 2021. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder that this is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so not all the messages that come out will apply to everybody. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoy the readings that I post, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you are always informed whenever I put up new readings. So let's see what we've got for you for the month of September. This is not tied to uh, necessarily career or money or love or anything like that. We're just going to see what messages transpire. I will be posting career and um, love readings a little bit later on, but in the meantime, we have the general ones for those who aren't necessarily necessarily interested in those specific areas and just want something a little bit more general. Hearing messages from spirit, I am a clear channel for messages from spirit, okay? So pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities, repeating numbers, mess, um, um, feathers, uh, shapes in the sky, all of those things. Pay very close attention to your dreams at this time as well because there is some messages or some communication that is coming in for you guys, okay? So um, if, you, uh, if you do um, have dreams, all right, just keep a little pen and paper right beside your bed. And when you wake up in the morning, just jot down the first things that come into your, that uh, pop into your head. All right. And after a week or two, um, when you go back and review them, you get some like really cool information from there. It's actually really quite fun. Uh, you may also be seeing some spirit animals um, in weird places, okay? And this is not, you know, like feathers underneath a bird's nest or, you know, a, a caterpillar in a bush, right? We're talking about things that are out of place. They don't belong, right? One of these things is not like the other. One of these things doesn't belong. So figure out that thing that doesn't belong, and that may be a message for you somewhere there. We have cultivating prosperity as well. Yes, the universe, the abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. This is a period for you guys, Sag. This is a period of expansion, of growth, of sowing the fruits of your labor. All right. This is whatever this prosperity means to you, whatever abundance means to you. This is wonderful energy that's coming in. Doors of opportunity are opening for you. Uh, you may be actually... Um, getting some rewards uh, that you have worked hard for, okay, that expansion, okay, so really very positive energy that's coming in for you, and uh, it is a time of increase, increase, abundance, and some growth. Am I taking note? Thank you very much. So let's pull your tarot and let's see what else we've got for you guys. Messages, please, for Sag. We have the Ace of Cups. Love that. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. The Tower in Reverse. Three of Cups in Reverse. The Devil. Lovers. Death. And we have the Queen of Swords in Reverse. Woo, man, oh man. Well, this is, uh, huh, interesting. This is very interesting. Um, hmm, okay. So let's see. Lovers, three of pentacles. We've got the devil energy there. So the ace of cups right in the heart, right in the center of your reading is a beautiful energy. All right. It is about being open to new experiences, new situations. This may be a very creative time for you right now. And uh, this is also brings in a bit of a healing energy as well. Okay, that energy of expansion. There may be uh, some news, some offers, um, some experiences that are coming in that are either brand new to you or they are a very much of an improvement in your current circumstances, okay? So the Ace of Cups really is a very positive energy that is coming in to you in your current situation, okay? Now, there may also be some changes that are coming about here as well, and this may actually involve other people in your life. We've got the Three of Pentacles here as well, and the Three of Pentacles it can be about um, teamwork and collaboration, okay, working together with other people, it can kind of, it can sometimes also be 
um, an energy of needing to um, educate yourself on something, okay? Get a little bit more information, seeking out some sort of help or some sort of assistance along the way. And with the Ace of Cups coming in here, the help has arrived because there's some changes that are going on here as well with the tower in reverse. And when we have the tower in reverse, especially in the position that it's landed in here, okay, this is really, um, you know, an underlying feeling, underlying motivations, okay, you've got this directly within your control. So there are some changes that are happening in your life, but you've got this, you've got a good handle on it, all right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're good or they're bad, all right? It just means that you've got a really good handle on things that are occurring in your life right now. So you may actually be the instigator of your own change, okay? Or you are in direct, uh, direct control of it, right? You're not letting anything really derail you from your goals, okay? It's a very calm, very centered approach to something in your life, okay? So, you know, some of you may actually be getting a little bit of an epiphany because the tower always does bring in a little bit of a surprise, some sudden unexpected change. It does also um, bring us... Um, some more, sometimes that epiphany moment, a revelation, okay? This can be changes within us. This can be in our uh, material world as well. But this can also be the energy that's around us, right? Sometimes we are not the uh, instigator of our own change. But whatever it is that's coming in here for you, for some of you, it may be new love, it may be a new opportunity. It could be a little bit of an epiphany moment that's coming in, but it could actually be uh, a really big change within yourself, okay? Because uh, time is fluid. So in your past, uh, so some of you are still dealing with your past position here with the energy that is on the way out, but it's still influencing your current situation. For others of you, you've already dealt with this already. Um, the three of cups in reverse is actually what's motivating you, what's pushing you forward. And the three of cups in reverse, first and foremost, may be someone who has some habits that are getting out of control. And it can be, I mean, usually the three of cups in the upright is really good news. It's socializing, it's getting together, you know, with your soul tribe, right? With your, the people that are close to you and having a really good time. But when the three of cups is topsy-turvy, it could be that you've had some bad news or some disappointments. It could be that you're spending too much time with other people and overindulging in some way, especially with the devil card coming out with it. The devil card can be about obsession. Uh, it can also represent some bad habits or some addictions, okay? So you may be dealing with some facet of yourself that you are trying to make some personal improvements on, or there could be someone in your soul circle, so your soul tribe, your um, your social circle that uh, you may actually be staging a little bit of an intervention. All right, if that is you, okay, it could be someone in your family as well. All right, but certainly, uh, certainly something that is like maybe a little bit out of control. Okay, that needs to get reined in a little bit because the devil energy can be a shadow part of yourself, something that you're needing to detach from, something that is not necessarily healthy, right? Especially with that three of cups. So it could be a habit, a pattern, a behavior that you're trying to break free from. It could also be that you have some toxic energy in your social circle. All right, perhaps someone is, you know, just... You know, again, someone else may have some bad habits or some issues, and it could be like a lot of drama that is around you in some way, okay? Something that was typically very positive and very happy, but has gotten a little bit out of control. So when the devil card shows up, okay, there is a need to take a little bit of a step back, put up some healthy boundaries, all right, and release uh, some chains that have perhaps uh, gotten someone a little bit bound, a little bit trapped or stuck, right? Because sometimes we can actually get stuck in a little bit of a circle. Now, yes, we can also, um, we can also uh, say that the devil energy is maybe a person that is causing some issues. Okay, it could be as part of a relationship. With the threes coming out, especially the three of cups in reverse, there could possibly be somewhere along the way a third party situation, okay, for at least somebody. And with the death card here, there may be something that needs to come to an end, all right, but with this, this is your problem area right here with the death card. So 
part of your pro part of the problem may actually be putting something to rest, putting something to an end, uh, a finality of something, right? Getting closure in a situation, extracting from a situation that is no longer healthy, that is no longer positive or good. For some of you, that death card may um, the death card with the tower right beside it can indicate that there is a possibility of changing or fixing or resolving this situation. Um, but for others of you, you need a to, you need some closure. You need to cut something out of your life there, um, whether that is something um, within you, something that you are doing, make some positive change in your patterns, your habits, your behaviors. It could be, again, someone that's around you that maybe you actually need to cut out of your life in some way. And it's like, you know what, either this gets better or I need to move on. All right. And it may be something that's been brewing for a long time. We don't typically get the devil in the death card unless there has something here that's been uh, that's been brewing for a long time. Right. Um, you know, and again, it could just be like some bad news coming in or something not going your way. Right. Because the three of cups here with the devil and the death card, um, especially with messages from spirit and cultivating prosperity. With the Three of Cups in reverse, some of you may actually be getting a little bit uh, annoyed um, and you may be getting a little bit impatient, all right, about opportunities that you are hoping for, that you are trying to manifest into your life. And you may have thought at one point that you might have some opportunity through a social network or something, um, and it's just not necessarily happening. All right. And we can actually we can actually see you here getting maybe a little bit obsessed by that because the devil energy does bring in um, an energy of obsession. And with the death card here, there is a need to let something go, go with the flow, let things unfold naturally, right? Because it's like a, an, an energy blockage, okay, that's coming in there. But I also feel that there is a need with that death card there that um, ultimately you may really know that you need to either make a change in a situation, leave a situation, okay, or maybe even um, cut something out of your life. All right, whatever that need, whatever that means for you, okay. So whether that is you or a situation that is around you, but there is an opportunity for improvement here. There may be some major misunderstanding with a group of people. Like for example, um, if you're in a relationship and your person is all of a sudden unavailable, you may be jumping to conclusions there with that three of cups in reverse. You may already, all of a sudden, be thinking either you are someone in your someone in your soul tribe as well. It doesn't have to be you, but maybe there's someone that's jumping jumping to conclusions there, assuming that there's someone indulging in a third party situation when an actual fact with the three of pentacles here, maybe they're just really working on a big project and they may be um, throwing, giving their all into their work. And so it ends up being a major misunderstanding there um, because sometimes, uh, sometimes people can jump to conclusions. Okay. And a third party situation does not need to, ha doesn't have to be um, a like romantic situation or anything like that. I don't know if you would call that romantic, but um, it can just be like friends are getting in the way, you know? So um, if you have a spouse or a significant other, right? It could be that they're spending all the time, all their time with their friends. And all of a sudden you're sitting there going, um, hello, like, uh, you don't have any time for me, right? So there's that interference there that may be affecting your situation. But with the Ace of Cups coming in here, there is an opportunity to heal for growth, um, for improvement in your situation. Okay, or to, you know, again, um, yeah, control the change, right? Take charge of as take charge of your situation and make some positive change there. It's like, yeah, I recognize with the death card here, I recognize a need to either put some put an end to something, detach from something, or make some positive change and room for personal growth, um, personal change, okay, or maybe even to help somebody else change along the way. All right. You may actually be the driving force, um, behind that for somebody. Okay. But change 
um, change or endings is certainly a little bit of an issue. And especially if you, especially if you're in a relationship, let's say, and uh, your person is, you know, out with their friends all the time and whatever, and they won't commit or anything like that, they may be the ones having a trouble um, transitioning into a more mature level of a relationship. All right. But the three of pentacles here with the ace of cups and the tower, okay, you may actually be seeking someone's advice, someone's assistance, uh, someone that can really help you along the way, see things in a little bit more of a practical way, a practical matter, okay? You may even be examining your values, what is important to you, that three of pentacles there, right? What is important to you? All right, and you might be looking for some personal growth in a situation, or you may be looking to, of course, start something a little bit new. The Three of Pentacles, this one kind of looks like a nurse, doesn't it? Um, the way that's drawn there, you know, the old-fashioned um, the old fashioned nurse's uniform, right, with the, the weird little hat that looked like a boat. Anyways, that kind of looks that kind of looks like one of those old-fashioned nurses uniforms there. So there could even be some um, uh, some medical counseling, perhaps assistance that someone may be uh, may be looking for there. Okay, so um, but typically the Three of Pentacles is people working together to try and improve and expand upon a situation. But again, there needs to be some major change, personal growth, some improvements in uh, in an area, and you are very much directly in control of that, okay? So for some of you, you've already dealt with this transitional energy, this, uh, this death card energy. Some of you have already left a situation. Some of you have already taken those first steps to improve something, all right? And, um, you know, some of you have already gone through that energy of detaching from, um, you know, worrying about something too much, okay, or doing something in excess. And that gives you kind of a very lighthearted, um, lighthearted energy with that Ace of Cups, okay. So again, new improvement, healing, change, um, you know, very positive uh, in the current situation. But it may be a little bit draining because um, we've got the Nine of Wands coming up next, right? And the Nine of Wands is one of those ones where it's like, oh my God, I've been through one hell of a battle. I just need to take a sit back. I need to take a rest for a minute um, before moving forward, right? It's not one of giving up, but it is one of needing to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a time out, okay? Um, it can also, uh, the Nine of Wands can sometimes be one of um, putting up um, a little bit of a barrier, right? It's like, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep persevering on my goals. Okay. But you know, there may be a little bit of, um, how do I want to say uncertainty? Okay. About the path ahead. And again, there may be a need there to put up some healthy boundaries as that's coming out with the lover's card here as well. And the lover's card is about balance and harmony in relationships and any relationship, it can be romantic ones, it can be business partnerships, right? Partnering up with the right people, okay? People who are part of your future, people who are part of your personal growth, your spiritual go growth, coming back into union possibly with somebody, all right? The lover's card is uh, quite often known as the soulmate energy there, okay? So with the nine of wands, okay, you may be really trying to make some improvements again with yourself, Okay, um, coming into alignment with your higher self. All right, this is where we quite often meet our own soul, meet our higher selves. All right, but you could also be doing that with another person as well. Matters of the heart are highlighted with the lover's card, right? So you may be making some choices that affect your heart, the Ace of Cups, right? For some of you, you've got a new partnership, a new friendship, a new opportunity that's coming in here. For others, you are looking again to improve your current situation, whether that is you or whether that is a friend, someone part of your soul tribe, your soul, your social circle, someone who you may be actually, you know, like that intervention, right? You may be staging a bit of an intervention there. Okay. But we've got the queen of swords in reverse coming out here too. Now I wouldn't necessarily want to, uh, and then it and the queen of swords is wonderful energy. I love the queen of swords. Queen of swords in reverse is someone who's really pissed off. 
Okay, so <laughs> um, now the Queen of Swords does also put up boundaries. So with the Queen of Swords in reverse, someone may have actually put up a wall and not necessarily a boundary. Okay, there's a huge difference between a boundary and a wall, right? A boundary, okay, if you look at these, if you look at these wands, you can still see through, right? Things can still get through that, right? It keeps the bad things out and the good things in or allows the good things in. Okay, it's a little bit of protection, but not like think of a brick wall, right? Um, it doesn't completely block things. So the queen of the queen of swords in reverse, there may be a need there to Someone may have actually put down a wall. No one's getting in. It's like a complete blockage there. So um, with the nine of wands and the lovers, there may be something there where someone needs to kind of open up a little bit. The queen of swords can represent a person that you're dealing with. And if you have, um, if you and your friends or something like that um, have possibly had some sort of meeting or some intervention about someone's behavior um, or you're trying to break someone free, of something. The Queen of Swords is certainly someone who is in a really foul mood, okay? Someone who is really not happy, okay? Or who is resisting things every step of the way, all right? But with them, where this is here, okay, where this is here, this is something, again, that you may actually have a lot of influence over. This may be well within your control. And if this is a facet of yourself, you may need to put down your defenses in some way, and you may need to open yourself up. Okay, now, if you have had, if you have had bad experiences in the past, all right, with people. Sometimes even, it doesn't even necessarily have to be romance or anything like that. Sometimes we can just have bad experiences that we have either broken away from or that we uh, we have been trying for a long time to break away from, right? And we've been waiting for this Ace of Cups forever, all right? Because this could certainly uh, certainly be a business partnership here with that Ace of, um, Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, okay? And the lovers there, right? A new business partnership, possibly a new career, all right. And um, you just need might need to you might actually be the leader of a number of people there. OK, but um, this is, you know, you may go in with a little bit of um, skepticism. All right. Because it's like I just left a really toxic environment and it's been a long time coming and I've been really waiting for this good news for a long, long time. But sometimes when we actually do start on that new path, sometimes we are still a little bit in defensive mode and sometimes there is a need. It's, it's, difficult, to, uh, it's difficult to release ourselves from that, right? Because we may have been in this energy for far too long, right? And we carry that with us, right? So there may be a need there to detach, okay? The Queen of Swords uh, in the upright would actually very much detach from that energy, okay? The Queen of Swords um, in the reverse may be kind of resisting that a little bit. Um, memories, right? But the Queen of Swords can also be um, be an energy of someone not necessarily expressing their feelings, okay, or expressing their thoughts, right? Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to do that, especially if there's a new environment or a new situation coming in, new people coming in. All right, sometimes we have a little bit of um, a little bit of issues there, kind of getting things out in the open, especially again if we've been dealing right. Things always go a little bit topsy turvy when that devil energy shows up. All right, so um, sometimes there can be a little bit of nerves coming in with the Queen of Swords. Normally, the Queen of Swords is a really confident energy, okay, but this is a little bit more hesitation with that. And the Nine of Wands, it's like, yep, okay. Uh, I'm still going to still going to move forward. I'm still going to make good choices. OK, it's just that I've been through one hell of a battle and I need to take a little bit of time. All right. But that lover's card there is, you know, part of, you know, is, uh, you know, part of your next situation, part of your future here and is certainly coming in here for you. So you could certainly, um, you know, you could certainly be meeting, um, you know, partnering up with somebody in business. OK. Um, teamwork collaboration and partnering up with people. All right. And this could be a very new situation or again, um, you know, an area of improvement somewhere. But again, with that tower in reverse, 
there's some catalyst or some big change that's coming in here, but you can handle it, right? This is um, very much something that you've got under control. You may even be controlling this change in some way, all right? You may be extending an offer to somebody there with that Ace of Cups, all right? Um, you know, but, uh, you know, but again, it's a little bit challenging energy when that devil comes up, but fortunately that is what is leaving. Okay. Some of you have already dealt with that. You've already found closure. You've already moved on. You've already, you know, experienced some of this. Okay. For others, this is what you're dealing with now. And it's like, Oh, hey, man, this is not fun at all. Okay. But again, this can be about opening yourself up and trusting that there is positive things headed your way and releasing those obsessions, fears, worries, doubts, and looking in things in a little bit more of a positive light. And that lover's card there, uh, there certainly are some messages coming in, right? Your higher self from your angels and guides, right? People are, someone is really starting to, or really trying to get a point across, get some messages to you. So let's just quickly see what else that we've got here. Messages, please, for Sag. But overall, honestly, overall, it's pretty good. I mean, we do start out with some tricky energy, okay? Um, you know, but with that Ace of Cups coming in and the lovers, you know what? That's, um, you know, and even that tower in reverse, right? Uh, you know, some things may get a little bit topsy-turvy. Things may get a little bit crazy, maybe a little bit of a surprise. Um, but again, nothing that you can't handle, all right? Uh, might be a little bit, kind of like drag your energy down a little bit, right? You might need to just kind of like pace yourself um, with something, okay? But ultimately, uh, it all works out for the best. All right. Okay, so the Ace of Cups with the Rider there, we've got some good news coming in. Absolutely, the Rider does represent news. It also represents possible visits as well, but I'm feeling here that it's good news with the Mountain in the Three of Cups, and then we've got the stars over there in the outcome position. There's been something that's been a blockage, been a challenge, been a problem um, for likely quite some time. The Mountain is something that is quite often there for a long time, a big obstacle, maybe even a frenemy somewhere there, okay, because uh, the mountain can um, represent like a big enemy, okay, and in your social circle, again, we already said you may have like a toxic friend or something um, that's going on within a friend's uh, life there that is actually creating a very negative environment, okay, so maybe a frenemy type of thing, or it just could be that they have a lot of problems, a lot of challenges in that area, okay, it could also be in a relationship for you there as well, but the rider is some really good news coming in, of course, bringing in that ace of cups, the stars, uh, the stars do represent a very positive outlook, they also represent luck, um, luck, luck and positivity. Um, it can also be guidance as well. Okay. Following your intuition in something there. All right. But a lot of positivity, uh, that is coming in the rider quite often does represent like a wish fulfillment as well. Um, it's the nine of hearts. So, uh, in the cardamancy there, that is a wish, uh, a wish fulfilled card. So, um, it's like, yes, there's been something that's uh, been stuck, all right, um, for a long time, but there's good news coming in, maybe even a person riding in there, all right, and the stars, something that has been really hoped for, something that brings about a lot of positivity, all right. Um, we've got uh, the tree with the devil card, so yeah, so certainly an unhealthy situation there that someone's been dealing with, and again, with that tree, uh, it's been in place for quite some time, so this could have to do with someone's habits, someone's health, all right, and it's not a positive situation in any way, shape, or form. It could also be emotional health, right? Anything along those lines, right? But it's not a healthy situation whatsoever. And, you know, the death card with uh, the mice coming in there, right? The mice um, do represent things being taken away. So something either needs to be taken away or something needs to be cut out or certainly significantly changed in some way, right? Because this has been niggling away at you for a very long time, right? It's been something that has been known for a while and now it's time to get something out in the open. So, you know, if you are 
um, you know, worried about your manifestations or anything like that, right? There is a need here with the mice to, uh, you know, to um, release yourself, okay? Um, take away because you're worried about something, right? The mountain and the tree, okay? You do need to release yourself from that situation, okay? In order to let things flow. All right, the tower, we've got uh, the tower and the queen, we've got the house and we've got the moon. So the moon can represent moon cycles, okay? Um, you know, those cycles coming to a close, right? The devil can actually represent uh, toxic cycles as well, like karmic cycles. So it could be that you've got some karmic cycle that's coming to a close there that you've been dealing with for a while. The house is success in all things. It can actually represent the home. So you may actually be getting a visitor into your house. This could possibly, again, be in relation to your workplace, right? If you work in a small group of people, but you may actually get um, a new job in a smaller company, possibly. All right. And with the bear there, with the three of pentacles, you may actually get some leadership role in something, but you may also be taking the lead in uh, in a, in the situation that you're dealing with right now. It's like, nope, you know what? We're going to take the lead. Um, we're going to move forward. Okay. We've got this opportunity and we're, we're going to make some positive change here. All right. The uh, the bear can also represent something powerful, something strong. Okay, so you may have, um, you may have a, um, again, you may be tapping into your personal strength as well. The bear actually does bring in a lot of success, financial success quite often, and with the house there as well. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes the, uh, the envious people come out with that, but, um, you know, but it is, it is success there. So we've got a lot of really positive energy coming towards you as we already saw. And again, um, you know, it comes with some change, but it all feels very positive, right? Making positive steps forward. Um, the moon there with the stars and the birds. Okay. Uh, you may be actually be getting some recognition. You may be finally getting your just rewards. The moon can be about your reputation and about also getting recognition. And the stars is something very, very positive. All right. So you may be getting um, recognized and rewarded for all of your hard work and your endeavors. Right. And this is something that you've been wishing for. Those stars can represent your wishes. Your mo The moon card can represent your dreams. Right. So wishes and dreams. Um, with the birds, okay, the birds can uh, can bring in um, some anxiety, some stress, okay, but can also bring in verbal communication, and it can also represent two birds, okay, like two people, two of something, and we do have the lovers there as well, so it really feels as though you're finding resolutions, you're coming into partnership with people, and possibly even a bit of a uh, spiritual message coming in here too, I mean, the moon and the stars, right? And also the birds there as well. So be on the lookout for those messages from spirit helping guide you, okay? But you're certainly where you're headed is way more positive than the uh, issue that you have been possibly dealing with so far. So things are opening up for you and things are certainly getting a lot better. I'm going to leave that there for you, Sag, okay? Um, hopefully there was something in this reading that uh, resonated with you in some way, a little bit, or the whole thing. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave me a comment as well if you like. And um, so I hope you guys have a great September. I will be posting some more targeted readings uh, in a little bit. And um, But uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great month. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.